Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin for WordPress. So here is the plugin page, and what the module allows you to do is that it allows you to clone posts or duplicate posts, as the name suggests. And it's very useful for updating content. So you can have a blog post which has been live for about a year. You can then create a draft revision with this plugin, modify that draft revision, and then override the live revision with this draft revision when you are ready. So it is useful, very useful for updating content. Let's now set this up in my WordPress site. And I should also mention that there is a text tutorial on this plugin on WebWash. So Google uh, WebWash Yoast, Yoast Duplicate Post plugin, or click on the link below this video. And here is the text plugin, which pretty much explains everything that I'll cover in this video. Okay, so let's jump into my WordPress site. This is a vanilla WordPress site. The only thing I've done is I have created a test article uh, or a test post, sorry. And the first thing we'll do is download the plugin. So click on plugins, click on add, and then search for Yoast. And of course, do not select Yoast SEO, but instead click on install on Yoast duplicate post and then activate it. Okay, let's just close this message up the top here. And if you go to settings, so you can access it by clicking on settings there, or just if we go back, just click on settings and then duplicate post. Here, you can actually configure what elements of the post, so what properties and fields or properties, yep, um, get duplicated in the post. You can also put in a title prefix and suffix if you want copy of, duplicate of, or something like that. Uh, you can also configure the menu order and also you can specify which fields shouldn't be copied across and also the categories as well. Then under permissions, you can specify specific roles uh, who can copy. And then under display, you can control um, how the actual link is displayed. So have a bit of a play with that. But as you can see, there are a lot of things you can configure. Now, if we go to post, and here you can see a post which I created earlier, and now we get these extra links, clone, new draft, and rewrite and republish. So if you click on clone, it'll simply clone the post and then redirect you back to this page. And if you want, you can come here and Let's just edit this so we know this has been cloned. And well, let's edit, edit it properly and publish it. And here is our cloned post. And another thing you can do from the toolbar is if you hover over duplicate post, you can create a new draft by clicking on the link and also rewrite and republish when you are on a post. So that just saves you from having to go into the back end and click on the one of the links. Let's go back to posts. Now, if we click on new draft, this creates a clone of it, but it redirects us to the editor. So here, let's just um, enter in new draft, click on publish, and now we have pretty much a new draft. Well, the clone and redraft is the same thing. Clone just redirects you back to the admin page. Draft redirects you to, to the editor. Now, the third option is my favorite, and this is the one that I use a lot on WebWash. That is rewrite and republish. So let's just imagine this installing WordPress post has been published for a year, and now it is time to update. What we can do is click on rewrite and republish. And then we get this nice little message right here, which tells you that you need to click on republish for it to override the original post. So we can come here, let's just put in updated, chuck in some new text. And if we click on draft and then go back to the back end, we can see that this post is a draft and that it is a rewrite of the original post right here. And when we are ready to publish, all we need to do 
is go back into this draft revision and click on republish. And you get this little message telling you that it's been updated. You can see that the draft revision has been deleted and it has updated the original post, which is very useful because that means URLs haven't changed. And also for me, importantly, the post ID stays the same because I like to link directly to posts using the post ID. Now, another thing which I should have shown you in the last step, let's just again, click on rewrite and republish. And if we make another change, Let's just make another change. Click on save draft, click on republish, and then you can see the changes. And this is very useful to see what exactly has changed just before you republish it. And here we can see that yes, a new paragraph has been added. And then once we are happy with it, go back, click on republish and republish again, and now it has overridden the original post. So that is how you use the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin. I love using it purely for the re, what is it? I forgot what it's called. What is it? Redraft? No. The rewrite and republish feature because I spend a lot of time updating content on WebWash. Okay, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about WordPress and also a bit of Drupal, if you like, head over to webwash.net. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll catch you next time.